Oh, hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissUnlock.com. Today we're going to do, uh, I'm going to show you a box opening. And we're going to take some measurements with uh, a current clamp on meter, similar to this. It's actually even a little bit smaller case than this. Uh, now, the scene is going to be up in the mountains. I was at a friend's cabin and we we're putting in a solar system. So I took up a new meter. It's a new meter by Zotec. It's a ZT-QS9, I believe is the part number. <laughs> we're gonna look at that, okay? Now, this seems nice. It's a 6,000 count meter, so it's your typical 6,000 count meter. So, um, but what's nice about it is it does AC and DC current. So I took it up there because I thought it'd be great for him when he's looking at inverter AC current or DC current coming in from the solar panels or the DC current coming out of his battery, right? So it's really nice, easy to use. So I took it up there to see, you know, how well it would work. And I wanted to see him use it and see what he thought about it. So has a really nice back, has a flashlight on the current clamp part, you know, when you're clamping in the flashlight, turn on. And it's got some nice features for such a small, inexpensive meter. So uh, let's take a look at this thing, okay? I'll show you the box opening, and we'll come back and talk about it. All right, guys. Box opening. Here's the Zotec meter. It's a 6,000 count. There is the bag. Velcro pouch. A, a, it's a Velcro lock there and a belt loop there. Test leads, temperature, battery, manual, and meter. Hey guys, this is Zotec ZTQS9. It is a nice current probe. It does both AC and DC, and look how small it is. It goes up 600 amps, so that's nice. It's true RMS, of course. Um, it's a 6,000 count meter, and it has your hold function and your light function here, so I can hit the light, turns on the light, there's turns on the light, nice bright light, and a quick hold button turns on the hold and turns on and off. So that's nice. And then if you're reading current, come up to here, and you can see you can move the thumb wheel with your fingers here on the side. Makes it really easy. And to zero it, doesn't have the zero, it has relative. Same thing, just I was looking for zero, but yeah, so you go to zero. And then we come over to our charge panel. It says 27.1 volts coming out of the panel. So let's check it for current. And we got 11.24 amps. We can hit the hold button. And it come away, 11.26 amps. Now if we come up here, it says output charge current. Let's go down here and it's 10.8. So it's pretty close. I would say this meter is probably better. So that's pretty nice settings. Now let's go read some voltage. You got temperature, by the way, you saw that, Celsius and Fahrenheit, which makes it nice and easy. And you know what, the voltage, the two settings, one is low impedance, so if you have ghost voltage, phantom voltage, you can use that, or you just use the second one up for everything else. So let's check the voltage. Let's turn on the light. I'm balancing these two batteries down here, and I have the expensive KPS, which is a super nice meter, but what if you only need this meter for a solar system? So let's check the voltages. Okay, check, check the first battery here. 1343, they're in parallel, so of course they're gonna be connected, but let's measure the current. Come back up to here, and we'll hit the relative to zero that out. Okay, come down here, and I can't really see, so I'll just hit the button, hold, pull it out, and 0.38 amps. So they're almost balanced. Wait until that gets to zero, right? Then they'll be balanced. And uh, yeah, we're gonna essentially bottom balance the batteries. We charge them both up in series, and we're going to balance them to the bottom and then just let this charge control go up to the max of the bottom of the lower charge battery. 
So then we just bottom balance them. And then we'll do the same thing with these two guys. So right now I'm waiting for this guy, 27 one, I'm waiting for discharge to where the batteries look like they're becoming in balance. And then once they're balanced, then we're gonna set this guy to probably 26.6 is what I'm thinking. Uh, so Will Prowse from YouTube has uh, talked about this and says that if you bottom balance, then you should be good. So, and these things have been running for a few weeks and if it wasn't for the inverter shutting itself off and not turning back on, uh, we would have had Wi-Fi and we wouldn't have known there's any problem and I don't think there was a problem they were just slightly out of balance but you don't know after time if that would have caused problems so anyway that's why we're here but Zoltec nice meter and if you're doing solar systems I think this one looks good DC and AC current and uh, everything at a very good price all right, guys, so first I want to give Zotec two thumbs up for sending that meter out for free. That was really nice. Now, I ended up leaving it with my friend up there. He liked it a lot. It was easy for him to use. He's not a technical person, so, uh, but yeah, it was easy to use. Um, it has a relative mode, so you can zero out your meter. Uh, it's just a nice meter. You know, it has a temperature probe. So we wanted to look at the temperature of his batteries. It's gonna get cold and there's a heating blanket we put in there. So we wanted to measure that. So yeah, it just does everything he needs to have a solar, you know, to look at a solar system. If he has any questions, I can say, hey, take your meter and go take this measurement. So anyway, it's a nice meter. Uh, nice and small, compact, just exactly what he needs. So yeah. Uh, anyway, let me know what you guys think of that meter, and <laughs> since I don't have it here, I can't really show you, but, you know, it's nice that it came in a case and all that kind of stuff, right? So that way, someone like him, he can just leave it in his solar shed and zip it out and, you know, it's ready to go when he needs it. So, all right, guys. Uh, oh, hey, two big thumbs up to my patrons. Appreciate you guys. Two big thumbs up to my YouTube members, uh, Danny, team member and my supporters thanks guys so appreciate that and thanks to zotec for sending out that meter and yeah i got another meter it's a smart meter which i thought about leaving that with them but yeah anyway i already left them that meter uh the other meter this i think the smart meter might have been even easier and this meter here this is another low cost meter by the way that zotec is under 40 bucks so pretty good price right um anyway i'll put the link down below appreciate using that it's free it supports the channel a free way to support the channel is also to uh, like the video share it that kind of stuff subscribe all right guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time